Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for the week ending Friday, February the 12th, 2021. This video is a bit longer than I normally do, but if you'll take the time to go through it, I really believe that it'll help you see price action in a more organized way. Uh, you're going to see the, the, the kind of structure and setups that we look for in our services, whether it's Darko's Day Trading Academy service or my scalping service. And I'll show you a couple of examples of these scalp trade setups. So you'll have a uh, like a visual picture of what they look like. And I really hope that it helps give you uh, a little more clarity on reading price action. Okay. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you let me know by hitting the like button. That'd be awesome. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Actually, there's a subscribe button and links to all of our social media at the very end of this video. Okay, let's take a look. In our Coach's Corner scalping service, which I run, we don't trade any differently than we do in our day trading service that's run by Darko. It, it's simply trading a recognizable pattern at key levels of support resistance on the higher time frame charts using a lower time frame for entry. For scalping, we simply use lower time frame combinations, uh, daily, four hour, and 15 minute. And we look to enter with very small pip risk and this gives us the chance to not only remove risk quickly, but also to get very nice reward risk outcomes. And I just want to give you a little update, by the way, on our service. When I started the scalping service, I was using patterns that we've used in the past. Divergence, head and shoulders, and our old pattern number four, which some of you might remember. But these patterns are just names. And they're, uh, and they're the same ones that, uh, you know, Darko calls swing trades, rotations, and set and forget trades and he, that, that he uses in his day trading service. So here's the thing. We have traders who are members of both services. So what we've done now is we're just, we just uni, um, made it more uniform. We now use the names swing break rotations and set and forget for the scalping service as well, just to keep it, like I say, uniform between the two services and avoid any confusion or overwhelm. And, um, and, and when we're using the same name for everything, it's very easy uh, for someone to switch between trading styles if they want to okay they're all i mean they're all just very simple patterns and they flat out work okay and i should note that we uh, we also look for advanced candle action uh, trades in both services that's very important that that gives us a very good clue about what's going to happen so okay let's go to the uh, british pound japanese yen first i want to show you uh, what we look for here the if you look at this this is the weekly chart in my upper left, daily chart in my upper right, four hour chart in the lower left, 15 minute, which is our entry time frame in the lower right. Okay. If you look at this weekly chart and we always reference this, even though we're scalping, listen, it's very, very helpful to get a very good, a good idea of what the general trend is. And this trend is like up big time, super strong. Really, you should be trying to avoid any kind of selling up here unless you get a very clear pattern, which we, we do once in a while, but the, 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 main, the main way you should be looking to trade is long, okay? Now, what do we have here? Actually, this trade was actually pointed out by one of our members, which I'd love to see. So if you look at this, we, this level that I've got marked here, why do I have that level marked? Okay, by the way, all of these levels I provide these levels every single day for our members. I make a video and show them all the levels that we're watching for. Why do I have this level marked? Because it was right here. We marked the closing price of these levels. Do you think this is a strong move? This is not me and you selling, folks. This is institutional selling. It's big. Okay. Really, really important level. So is this one up here. Okay. You can see how, how hard price fell away from it. So those are what we mark. We watch. And we want to see what happens when price gets there. Look at all the hesitation in there. So there's something about that level. And then what we do is we can now look at our four hour chart and see, hey, what's going on with the with this level here? And you can see it hit it, chopped around, very, very strong move out of here. And then it comes back down for a retest. And look at this candle. You see this, what happened when it retested? It had this nice bullish engulfing candle right here. And on our entry time frame, okay, so this is the bullish engulfing candle. I'm going to show you what it looked like on our entry time frame. It was right here, okay. Price had come down and had this, this is where this big uh, four-hour uh, bullish engulfing candle happened. 
this set up a really good what we call a swing break set and forget trade and the entry was right down here only needed a 13 pip risk and you can see the move that happened after that this is a level of opposing this is where we had problems before if you look left there's a support it's resistant it's a very very good place to take some profit I always encourage people to take a bit of profit take half your position off or something so that you listen trade management is an individual thing these are just suggestions to help people get going it gives them confidence to get some money off the table move your stop to break even or uh, or at least move it so that you can't lose money on the trade this was a two to one up in here came all the way down you can see that it would have stopped you out on this okay on the remainder and then look what's happened today another this this is a this was not unexpected because that is what's happening with this pair it's a very very strong pair in a very strong uptrend and unfortunately we didn't get a we didn't quite get into it today and um and don't, didn't get that move but that's just the way trading goes look at the euro yen you know and and again uh, these levels here i provide them every day for people to to watch for okay and then you can people get good at this and they can find their own levels and and sometimes like right now prices are going above this level and now we've got to watch the next level up which should be up in here on the daily chart and so on but here's what happened on this pair you know generally we're in an uptrend if you look at the weekly chart here it's higher highs and higher lows and if you look at the daily chart it was very interesting we actually went above this high and closed above it back in early January went all the way down and closed below all of this that's what we call a rotation and then it comes back up stops here down and back up for a retest see this retest right here and so the question is is this going to break higher or is it going to now break is this is this whole rotation going to hold and we're going to start to go lower we don't know but that's what we use the 15 minute chart for now we can go down to a 15 minute chart and see what what happened in here was there any reason for us to sell and was there any reason for us to buy today well let's have a look this was on uh, February the 8th okay so if we go back to February the 8th uh, on our um, uh, if we for, first go back to it on our uh, four hour chart what, what did price do on the four hour chart it comes up hits this level this is this daily level that I had marked and look at this candle action a negative hmm that can get your attention so now we go down to a 15 minute chart and what happened on on February the 8th was there any clue based on the patterns that we use that we could have got into this trade there definitely was we had price go up and close above these highs in right here go all the way down and close below these lows that's a very very strong signal the sell was and I'm not kidding you here on just the way that we sell it was right to the pip this high right here this is the move down that happened don't worry about the outcome I'm because I'm, you know sometimes they lose too I want to show you I want what I want you to see is the setup this the, the price the structure of what's happening with these waves how they break lows and, and so on it's it's really the foundation of what we do so today what happens this is the same line okay so a little bit of chopping around not much going on and this look at this move here so if you look at the um, if you look at the four hour chart was there any clue yeah here's the, here's what happened and then today price goes straight up like this right and then and then what happens it even goes even higher and then comes down this is breaking out above this these these highs in here so it's looking like it wants to go higher in alignment with the uh, with the weekly trend so if we go down to the 15 minute chart and was there any clue there sure was see these highs in here look at this price action right here it went flying up very strongly above it all came down our entry was right and I, I, I know this sounds like I'm making this up I'm not because if you're in my our service you know I'm not this is the entry down here okay it was very close to you it's possible with some dealing platforms you may not have been filled because it was like it was because we front run our orders by a pip and you should have been filled but it, it you may not have been it's possible it happens and look at this move up the, I use um, there's different ways to take profits I'm not going to get into trade management but one of them is, is just using simple Fibonacci extension which extensions would hit which hit right here for a two to one 
another really nice trade and depending how you manage the rest of it you could still be in the trade okay I'm not going to get into that but I just want you to again see the the structure the price action of what happens uh, with these trades and how we can get into them okay so there's three different trades there that hopefully that helps now something that's important to understand scalping is no different than any other kind of trading style what I mean by that is that it takes just as much patience and maybe even more when you're trading uh, smaller time frames like this it's easy to get bored or whatever and get sucked into taking trades that are simply not valid and listen you know I know that everyone's looking to trade that's why we're here but we need to stay very disciplined and focused even though um, you know I do pay I, I post trades setups pretty much every single day but they don't necessarily get filled so it can mean waiting for several days sometimes before we get a trade but you have to wait you know and I know it's difficult but that's part of becoming a professional at this game okay just like with any other kind of trading it only takes a couple of these little scalps like I just showed you to get filled in order to have a very nice return on your account so my job as a coach is to help people see these setups in real time not after the fact real time and to answer any questions about trade setups that they see or and point out trades to them that I see and to make sure that they're valid and, and and not violating any rules and just generally guiding people along so that they get more and more confident in finding these setups all on their own so I hope this video gave you a good idea about how we approach our trading and hopefully it'll be helpful for you uh, in your own trading okay really pay attention to the higher time frames no matter how you trade and when you combine that with reading price action and market structure it provides a, a very nice reliable roadmap for trading and again we sure appreciate a thumbs up if you like this video uh, it helps our presence on YouTube so we can reach more traders and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and click that little bell when you do so that you'll be notified whenever we post a new video hey one more thing leave a comment if you wouldn't mind let me know if this video was helpful for you uh, if it was I can do more of these uh, and if it wasn't then uh, <laughs> maybe not so much okay thanks everyone have a great weekend and trading week ahead take care